What's going on, Legion? As you really like always. Hey, man, so I didn't really think I was going to get into this whole thing. Uh, you know, if someone does a diss, someone does a... You know, I didn't really do the Eminem and MGK thing. I, I loved watching the other reactors, checking it out. But I like Tom, and I've, I've known about Mac for uh, a really long time. So I thought, why not? E even if it doesn't get you the most views, it's still fun. Um, I have no real preference for Mac Lethal in any good or bad scenarios. But so far, you know, Tom did what he did. He had kind of a he had a video to it, and Mac is still in the stupid room doing a stupid thing. I, I'm sure there's gonna be some words popping up here. There may be some kind of costumes. Um, there may be a guest appearance from some 13 year old that wrote a diss. Who knows what he's gonna put in his video? Um, every reactor usually says we're here for the bars. Well, that's half of it. It's also about visual presentation, right? Uh, every second of this video is a picture. Picture's worth a million words. You got three minutes and 57 seconds. So 60 seconds multiplied, blah, blah, blah. That's a lot of pictures. Visual means a lot. Even MGK, at part of his video doing a uh, diss against Eminem, he was eating a bowl of cereal like a dipshit. But they put that gray filter on, they walk around tattooed, he's trying to be a badass. Uh, Screwface, same thing, man. He just, he, he was putting out videos and it, it, it adds to it. It adds to your attitude. Being a dipshit in your house, as you can see with me, doesn't make you look like the most hard person. So with that being said, let's just get into it, check it out, see what it's all about. From what I've heard, Mac won out of the, the Tom versus Mac one to one. Uh, and that and that Mac actually won it. We'll be the judge of that, and we'll see how that's going. Also, I didn't think I was going to be doing I didn't think there was going to be other, any other react, uh, 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 disses back and forth between these guys. So I got kind of long on my last video. Oh, let me move this. I said a lot of stuff on my uh, my first Tom video, uh, talking about the state of the country, the world, whatever. I won't be doing that this time, um, because there's another one we're putting out right after this. So let's go. I got a little story about a single white female. Her name is Tammy, but you'll need some fine details. She gets up on the internet and argues with strangers because inside she's full of insecurity and anger. She tries to be edgy, that's her rap ploy. But back in the day, she was a frat boy. She says everybody hates her, but no one even cares. So now I'm going to grab the bitch and throw her by the hair. If Drake can go from the easy e diss with his rhinestone studded whatever and be what he is now, Frat boy is the least of anybody's problems. Hey yo, single white female, it's time to make the J burn. Where's your fucking balls, bitch? You acting like you gray worm. How you gonna <laughs> let a little tweet hurt your feelings? Did I bruise your ego, little girl? What are you revealing? Your whole fucking gimmick is claiming everybody's too PC and sensitive. So why you want some victim shit? If somebody don't like you, that shit straight troubles you. Why the fuck you acting like an SJW? You rapping like you want to make America great again, but you're not even American, Tammy. You're Canadian. <laughs> you live in the safest fucking country in the world. World, and you act like you're a press man, you're such a little girl. Speaking of little girls, you want to diss my daughter? Damn, that's a cheap shot. That's so damn disgusting, man. Well, I can throw cheap shots too. Let's talk about the fact your girlfriend used to suck off R.A. the rugged man. You want to say I'm rapping filler? Your girl is a king of the dot groupie that be letting rappers filler. We got mutual friends. They gave me dirt. These are facts. Your girlfriend ghost writes half your rap. Wait, 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 hold on. What was that? Let's go back and hear that again. I don't usually go back for the bars, but hold on. <laughs> uh. well, friends, they gave me dirt. These are facts. Your girlfriend, for filler, we got mutual friends. They gave me dirt. These are facts. Your girlfriend ghost writes half your raps. On YouTube, the biggest video of mine has more views than all your fucking videos combined. Speaking of YouTube, you claim that I'm irrelevant. I got two million more fucking subscribers than you do. You wear women's clothes and Nicki Minaj braids because you gotta hide the fact that you secretly got AIDS. You think that I'm not paid, silly bitch. I'm a millionaire. You want proof? Meet me at the bank and I'ma kill you there. White on white violence. Damn, it's snowing. You're the fucking rap equivalent of Candace Owens. I heard you block people on Twitter because they told you Mac Lethal is bigger. Sweet Jesus, you're bitter. What's the matter, Lele Pons? Did my lethal injection get stuck in your vajayjay wrong? Oh, what 
what's the matter, Meth Lamore? You need another wow. stupid white boy gimmick to move some units out the record store. You're not a lyricist. You're not controversial. No one is offended by you, and that really hurts you, bro. You lie about your height. You're not 6'5", you little man. You look like Kid Rock had a meth baby with Lil Xan. You look like Lil Pump had a crack baby with Bad Baby. What's the matter, Elsa? Why you acting sad lately? I'm a martial artist. You fake wrestle, bitch. You aren't the man, but you do look like Becky Lynch. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the <laughs> ring right now, this man is a Canadian who would give anything <laughs> to be American. Standing five wow. foot eight, I mean uh, six foot five, weighing <laughs> seventy two pounds, Tammy Mick Dogford. Oh, oh shit! Let's watch this wrestling video. Oh my God! What kind? What kind of fucking move is that? What is that? <laughs> In your diss song, you tried to say that I was gay, right? You're the motherfucker that be dressing up in gray tights. See, you and other half-naked men can fucking play fight. You just need an excuse to lay there and take pipe. In America, hog is another word for dick, which is the reason that you have it tatted underneath your lip. Cause you love dick, bro. You give enough head. You wear nail polish, motherfucker. Nuff said. You ain't skilled, be quiet. You look like Billie Eilish did too many pills and got filled with violence and killed her stylist. I heard your diss, bitch. I ain't bust a sweat. You diss. ICP, homie, your girl's a juggalette. You say I'm in my thirties, like this shit is a bad thing. I'm healthy and I'm rich and I'm stylish. I heard you diss, bitch. I ain't bust a sweat. You diss ICP, homie, your girl. Dude, that's that's too funny right there. <laughs> oh no, dude. Oh, what was he thinking? I couldn't. I honestly, in the world of everything, I couldn't imagine Tom losing. Cause damn, this is going pretty good, and Lethal's favor. I, I like. I don't really give a shit about Lethal. Like he had the pancake breakfast song, and that was it. Um, and if anybody likes his stuff, that's fine. I don't pay attention to it, um, and I don't really follow Tom all that much. I've heard some of his bigger songs, but that's it. Um, that oh no, dude. Dude, his own life is it's not even that that Lethal's doing a good job at like burning him. He's just doing a good job at bringing up all the fails in his and Tom's life. Minus the wrestling thing. That's you can do whatever you want about that. I don't care. Uh, as a kid from the 90s I watched wrestling and it's whatever. If, if if he wanted to do that, cool. Frat boy, don't care. Your girlfriend, the hog, dude, it is self-sabotage. Girls a juggalette. You say I'm in my 30s like this shit is a bad thing. I'm healthy and I'm rich and I'm living my rap dreams. My kids go to a nice private school. I got a sick fucking house. I own my own pool. How the fuck you gonna try to say I'm having an identity crisis? You're a 30 year old man dressing like this. I wear normal clothes. I don't need controversy and shock value. I grab the mic and pour my soul. Let this shit be a lesson in how you thirst fame. From here on out, your name is infinitely cursed, man. Cause if you say your last name you have to say my first name bitch my fucking rap name is in your fucking birth name mac <laughs> uh, oh, i want to hear the last part again real quick i don't need controversy and shock value i grab the mic and pour my soul let this shit be a lesson in how you thirst fame from here on out your name is infinitely cursed man because if you say your last name you have to say my first name bitch my fucking rap name is in your fucking birth name mac Dude, I was just thinking that whole, like, I was just trying to just, I couldn't even, like, get on with the song, dude. I was just trying to hear everything he was saying because it really, I was, my first thought was, eh, Tom's first thing was 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 pretty good, you know. Uh, I, I really had no faith that uh, Lethal was going to was gonna make it. Um and then all of a sudden, like, my thoughts of the of everything just started going downhill. Like, am I biased in saying that I want Tom to win? Sure. Um, because I think that the general message that he does, which is, I said I wouldn't get too preachy, but it's like, here's a problem over here. White person co uh, talks about problem. People then get mad at white person. And I just think that is probably one of the stupidest things ever. I understand that was a thought when, when in kids that aren't white were getting shot and killed in the street for no reason, whether it was cops or some idiot with a gun. Yeah, there was definitely some cause to be mad, even though it was being pointed to everybody in the white community for the most part. You know, I understood that. But it kind of it just 
held over to the next chunk of SJWs against whatever. So I do like the, the message that Tom puts out in that way, which is, hey, everyone has a, has a say in what goes on here, whether it's this country, this planet. I like that. Everything else, I don't I don't really judge. If Tom wants to do his music however he wants to do it, that's cool. If freaking Mac here wants to sit in his, his dank-ass home or whatever he called it with his own self-owned swimming pool and put words up here and sit in a booster chair or whatever, that's fine too. Um, I will say that the whole Straight White Male song was, was really good. I actually really liked it. Uh, very surprised that I did. I didn't go into it going, Tom, I love him. He's like the next Eminem. Never. Never in a million years. But I actually genuinely liked that song. I thought it was fun. And uh, I was glad that I that reactors were rec- uh, checking it out and that I got to see it. Um, Mac, though, I don't listen to. Uh, and I probably won't. I've heard a bunch of his stuff in the past, the, starting with the Breakfast song, uh, and the uh, oh god, some of the like three or four other videos. But th- that was it, and nothing really held me over. With all that being said, with liking what Tom did over here and and, and agreeing to his message to a certain point, um, and not really caring about Lethal, I, dude, yeah, Lethal just kind of he kind of won it right there, didn't he? He did, one hundred percent. He just kind of won it. And what's even worse is that l- half of what Lethal said was based off of Tom's life. It wasn't like an Eminem thing where Eminem's like doing some eight mile fucking shit where he's like, yeah, I do live in a trailer and I, you know, whatever my mom and my, I am a white bum or trailer track. You know, it wasn't like that bad, but like he had it. I wonder if <laughs> he, Lethal said, Lethal said that his girlfriend writes half his shit now is that baseless is that really just trash talk lethal doesn't seem like a person that just lies to lie on a song or for a joke you know or mac whatever like lethal uh he doesn't seem like he's gonna bs maybe he believes it uh but they have mutual friends and they're mutual that's the worst one your mutual friend picked lethal over tom that's what's crazy or mutual friends uh uh like Damn, dude. And your girlfriend's a juggalette. That's... I, hey, I was... Like I said, 90s kid. I listen to plenty of ICP. I've listened to all of it, for, actually, I think. Even the new stuff, for the most part. Not a whole lot of it. But just just to keep up. And, it, yeah, I, that's all I'm going to say right there about that. That was pretty good. And I'll see you on whatever video I'm doing next. If you guys like to be like the content, goes like, subscribe, or share. Remember to subscribe to you. Want to leave a comment? Discuss anything we talked about on this channel, on this video specifically. You can always leave a comment down below. Love to see you and love to hear all those comments. Uh, Yeah, and remember, for every subscriber, a kitten gets its wings. Later, guys.